Hi, my name is Elise Villalobos. I am the marketing coordinator for the Mount Kids School and Library team, and this is my staff pick. This October, if you find that ghosts and ghouls aren't your thing, might I recommend a book about creatures that could still haunt your dreams? Aliens by Joalda Morancy, illustrated by Amy Grimes, comes out October 18th. This highly illustrated nonfiction book from Neon Squid showcases the way scientists have tried and are still trying to identify alien life. This book is perfect for anyone like me who's watched every alien documentary on streaming services. You'll become curious about Earth first as astrophysicist Joalda guides us through the necessities and the origins of life on this planet. You'll also learn about UFOs, conspiracy theories, and what investigations have taken place to look for life in space. I really like how colorful the illustrations are, blending abstract art into the ethereal galaxies. This book has statistics about life and space to satisfy the trivia lover and enough drawings to keep learning engaging and fun. You'll feel immersed in space. There's also a helpful glossary of terms and index in the back matter. And this was my October staff pick. Hi, my name is Mary Van Aken and I'm the director of school and library marketing. My staff pick for October is What Are You? by Christian Trimmer, illustrated by Mike Curado. This book is the perfect choice for first conversations about stereotypes and race. Author Christian Trimmer and illustrator Mike Carrado introduce young readers to three dogs, two poodles and one puggle. When the poodles repeatedly ask the question, what are you? And then proceed to force their own stereotypes of pugs and beagles on the puggle, the puggle guides them to understand how their own bias and stereotypes have guided their assumptions about who he is. Following the story, Dr. Danielle Vrez, a childhood psychologist, provides tips for caregivers and conversation starters. Christian and Mike hope this book encourages conversations about race and culture with the youngest readers to ultimately weave a fabric of inclusivity, acceptance, and mutual respect for others. The conversation starters ask questions like, what are the assumptions others have made about you that have been wrong? And what are examples of things we cannot know about a person just by looking at them? Use this early in the year to start these discussions and revisit throughout the year to underscore the importance of keeping this learning front of mind. Hi, I'm Kristen Luby, Senior Marketing Manager for the Mac Kids School and Library team, and my staff pick is Miki Ever After. Fans of fractured fairy tales and magical adventures are in for a treat this fall. Newberry Medal winner Tay Keller has a brand new series coming this November, Miki Ever After. Tay says she wrote this book for her eight-year-old self who wanted and needed to believe in magic, and so does her main character Miki, who is convinced she is a princess, even if people have told her she's not the princess type. Miki's best friend Genevieve is starting to feel like they're too old to play fairy tales and make believe. But when Miki and her friends fall through a magical portal in their school library, they enter a fairy tale realm where they get the chance to be princesses and meet their favorite fairy tale characters. But everything in this fairy tale world is not as wonderful as it seems. And eventually Miki must decide whether to return home with her friends or live out her princess dreams. This fantasy adventure also celebrates the everyday magic of friendship, finding courage, and what it means to grow up and discover who you are. Me Ever After is an empowering story about three young friends finding their place in the world, building their confidence, and challenging the idea of who gets to be a princess. I hope you'll share this magical escape with your young readers.